welcome to Michigan Pride. And that student could not be out. Could not be out for fear of that person's life. And I don't care what your pronouns are. I really like some of these pronouns I'm here. They really tickle my fancy. <laughs> but I don't care what they want to be called. You love them! <laughs> these humans are the ones that will lead. They are going to be the next Dana Nessel. They are going to be the next Andy Shaw. Pride is about socializing together openly. It's a celebration. As we walk here around, as we walk around here today, I flag tied around as Kate's bar hopping and becoming Snapchat famous. Let us not forget where we came from. We are babies in this fight, and our mothers' names are Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera. They were the transgender women of color that were tired enough of the crap and stood up and said enough 50 years ago. Mama Sylvia and Mama Marsha made it okay for us to be here instead of hiding away in a dark bar with no running water waiting for the police to terrorize us. So yes, have fun today, have fun all month, and have fun all year, but do not forget and do not rest. It's not over, it's never over. Get in where you fit in, join a group, work a campaign, call out transphobia, homophobia, racism, classism, and all of the other isms. If you are fighting for LGBTQ rights, then that needs to be also rooted in anti-racism work. Because even as a black and trans person, I thank you for you fighting for my queer rights, but they do me no good if my black body is dead and bleeding in the streets. So please join me for 49 seconds, is all I'm asking, for a moment of silence. This week, June 12th marked the, the third year anniversary of the tragedy in Orlando, Florida at the club, um, Pulse Nightclub. And so what I'd like to do is also remember those 49 individuals that we lost due to that tragedy. It was Latino night, most of those victims were of Latino descent and that hits really, really close to home for me. We all get to exist and not just exist, but that we can even thrive. Because y'all, we've been here and we're not going anywhere anytime soon. It's not just about us as queer, trans, I'm a white person and there are people of color right now, today, being harassed by police. Matter of fact, across the street here at City Hall, if you've got time today, I'm going to go over there and join them because I think that what's going on in this town needs to be addressed. And so I think maybe, you know, if you're feeling good about yourself, we're here to celebrate but maybe what we can come away with from here is to take a look at ourselves and see what sort of privilege do I have? Where can I use that to help other people?